Westfield and I'm gonna be going to Energy Up. So let's do this. hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here welcome friend so i've been on the go i really wanted to it's a few minutes before my nail appointment so i'm gonna go um in a few minutes but i wanted to just try one of these juices that i got and i'll talk a little bit more about this a little later but i'm thinking that i want to try the sweet green one which has apples lemons and spinach in there I really like that um, there is a spicy lemonade one which has like ginger lemons and apples there's a carrot one with carrots pineapple ginger lemons and apples this is from energy up and this is my first time trying out these juices and I can't wait and then this one is strawberry goodness which is strawberries pineapple lemons and apples so I'm excited to try these out and I'm thinking I have like one minute before I have to go into my appointment, but I'm thinking it's between like the strawberry and the sweet green. I think I'm going to go with the sweet green. Sweet green. And I'll try those later. I have not been on my time schedule this morning, so that's why I'm running late and that's the problem. But I'm so excited to get my nails done. The lighting and the sun is like not it. But anyways, here we go. Ooh, this is good. Spinach, lemon, and apples. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is really so good. And refreshing. I'm going to take this in with me. I'm wearing my brand in black wood today. I love this. I don't know if y'all can tell, but green is my favorite color. It's not something that I'm gonna wear like all the time, but definitely have a lot of things that are green. <laughs> all right, I gotta go, y'all. super basic I'm just gonna get um, the same just natural pink that I had on before because I don't really feel like having anything else and I'm not gonna have her cut down my nails which is something I always <laughs> ever do but I'm kind of feeling like I want long nails
okay y'all hey 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 it's been a morning it really has but i got my nails done geo does what needs to be done literally every single time like look at them and these are my real nails dip powder over them so obsessed but right now i am at home goods marshall's really i want to go in there because i want to see if i can find um just additional gym clothes because you know I'd be feeling cute when I get ready for the gym, which motivates me. Like, I want to feel cute, and I like the matching tops and bottoms and all of that. So, I did do a little haul a couple weeks ago at Old Navy. I've already had some before, but I wanted to check here to see if I can find any. And then I was looking on Amazon, and I was looking at some sets, but I don't know um, if I'm going to order them today. I'll probably order them next week, but... I want to at least check here to see if they have any and kind of go from there. I do then want to stop into Walmart and I do want to go into Aldi before going home to grab stuff. But it's literally swamped. I don't know why I'm doing this on a Saturday. I literally usually go grocery shopping in the evenings, like after work during the week or like a Sunday when it's really not that busy. But my question is, do I want to come out tomorrow to go grocery shopping and the answer is no i really really truly don't but yeah it's been such a busy week for me just in general i've had um you know just hard time sleeping so now i'm kind of back on my routine with sleeping well which i'm so happy about um so now i'm just trying to do a couple things before i go back home and i kind of just want to relax i have to finish editing the video that's coming out tomorrow because I kind of waited to the end of the week. I don't really know why I did, but I wasn't in the editing mood. So now I am. I'm about 80% done. So I just got to add the finishing last bits of edits and then I should be good for that to go out tomorrow. So I just want to kind of go home and relax. Like this is kind of a slow weekend and it's Cinco tomorrow. And I did have plans to visit a friend, but... You know, the way that it's looking, like, I just really want to chill and relax and kind of just restore, rejuvenate so that I can just hit the ground running next week. I really want to set myself up, you know, just to be um, on my game because this week I was not, um, especially with not getting enough rest and just the whole thing of, you know, just recognizing that now I'm back in this space and kind of dealing with that so I definitely just want to take it easy and I think tomorrow I'm actually going to make tacos like at home like beef tacos I haven't had beef tacos in a long time I've really been like making steak or chicken but I think I want to make beef tacos with like the hard shell and I want to make pina coladas which is like from Puerto Rico but I don't want tequila like I just don't want tequila so I want to make Pina colada. So I'm going to go to the store and kind of pick up some of the ingredients for that. So that's kind of what I want to do after I leave out of Home Goods. I also feel like, what else is here? Home Goods. I do got to go into the Dollar Tree as well because I need to pick up water and they have the huge gallon bottles of the Crystal Geyser. So I need to pick up those. And I usually buy six at a time. But yeah, let's go into Home Goods, see what we find, kind of go from there.
it's finally Friday. I'm so, so, so excited about that. I feel like I had a really busy week. Um, I was pretty productive, but I had in-person training like two days this week that I had to be in the office. That was pretty draining. So I felt like I've been counting down, especially for this week to be over. And now we're here. Um, so it's almost six o'clock. We're going to be heading out and I'm going to be taking you with me because I'm going to be going to this poetry event tonight and I'm so excited about it. It's going to be hosted at the Artist Cafe, which is located in downtown Springfield. And it's almost, you know, a little bit bittersweet because um, it will be closing by the end of the month. And it's just, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit, but it was just a, a space for creatives as much as it was a cafe for the community but you know I've also um, been to events in this space and hosted events in this space and um, you know I've gone to poetry nights I've gone to you know listen to live music so it is a little sad to go but I'm happy that I have the opportunity to go because I definitely want to support and be in the room tonight and take you all with me so I can capture just the ambiance so I wanted to do a fit check for you. I feel like it's like super fitting. I'm wearing these faux leather pants from Rainbow. This bodysuit is also from Rainbow. I just wanted to be relaxed tonight and um, just cute. And nothing is cuter than black. I'm also gonna wear, as you can see here, my jacket. So let me get this on and show you. Okay, I'm gonna be putting on my leather jacket. And I have this little tote. <laughs> it's the cutest little thing. I got this from Target. <laughs> Target. And it's so cute. It has a strap, which is also black and white. But I'm just gonna be super, super simple tonight. Super simple and relaxed. And let's get out of here because we do have to find parking. I'm saying we like we're together. <laughs> I do have to find parking. And um, it could be a little bit hard sometimes to find parking downtown, but let's go. Okay, y'all. So I was able to find parking, which is not bad at all. So I'm all set. I'm actually really, really, really early, but I wanted to come out here and try to get some content <laughs> so i was taking some pictures outside but honestly it's so gloomy it's actually just started raining i don't know what's up, been up with the weather lately um like i said i'm out in massachusetts and we've just had clouds and rain and more clouds and more rain what's up with that it's may isn't it april showers bring may flowers what's what's going on but anyways so I got some pictures I think you know the funny thing is like as I continue to try to work on my time management like just giving myself enough time to do what I need to do and feeling okay with having my tripod with me and doing what I need to do because content is life okay <laughs> Notion. No incantations or love potions can help hold those walls from closing in. You can't lie about how you feel about yourself. When it's showtime, when that self became gold mine begin to rust, 
You on the cusp of greatness, baby. No time for lateness, baby. Lately, I've been hearing what they've been saying, but it's nothing super. All Z's, they Vegeta side characters on a losing spree. It's time to become what you are becoming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some people have heard that point, but never acapella. Mm. Y'all like it? Yes! Yeah. Perfect I'll timing. I have to perform it for y'all um, with the music someday. <laughs> um, if, 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 if this is somebody's first time at a poetry night, I know people think like... Thanks anyway, she said, with a hand down. Face anyway, she said, when they head down, walked away, went around. Shook my head with a side, spent a five hundred two percent, and I ain't never seen a cent. A mirror lie, no powder wasted lie, crumbled no stem pre rolled on a backwoods lie, hold the lip gloss lie that I'm okay, that I'm enough lie. Tell me you love me. That I don't have to change for you to keep me lie. Put some of that, you'll never leave me lie on me. Rub it on my teeth until the water in my leaves lifts lie. And I take fly height high off that lie that you love me. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oxford Dictionary defines magic as the power of apparently influencing the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. Please note that to get here. There was no bibbity bobbity boo. Harry Potter didn't send a Patronus. Gandalf did not his wave his staff in front of any of her demons or haters and holler, you shall not pass. Magic does not capture it. Maybe it explains the soulful radiance, the glow, the defiant joy of a job well done, but it does not give credence to the work. Magic doesn't understand excellence. Magic implies ease, the right ingredients, the right words, and it can happen to anyone. Magic can never do what you have done to be black and in this room to be bad and in this room to be alive and in this room. Mm. So let me tell you my perspective. I think y'all got hoeing and healing mixed up. Mm. See, healing is better in yourself so you can build yourself a home from the brick up. Hoeing is better in yourself so you can get into someone's home and see if you can get them bricked up. Mm. Healing is holding it. Like, what's your definition of perfect? Is it chilling with your person? They make you food but ask you how you prefer it? Or is it chilling with your person? They don't ask, they just know how to serve it. Mm. See, I that like part. to say things I struggle with. It's just my perspective, but it seems like this person ain't up for that struggle shit. Mm. Like, do they know what you're saying when you on stage and sitting behind bars? Or will they listen to what you're saying if you got in trouble and had to sit behind bars? Mm. Will they stay with your dreams and wait for you to become a platinum star? Or will they get up and leave because that event so many years and I cry Cause I'm in touch with myself The fact that you're passing got me crying so many years I thank you guys so so much Give yourselves a round of applause <laughs> uh, Unfortunately this is our last poetry night so it is sad, right? But, man, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. I'm so thankful to our community. Or I'm so thankful to our people. Um, I've received so many messages. If you if you sent me a message, uh, I'm going to get back to you, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> if you try to leave my a voicemail, my voicemail is full. But um, the outpouring of love, it really has touched my heart. That's a, that's mango. 
And those are strawberries. Yeah, she can't. Oh, 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 yeah, she can't. Oh, we have it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's a full as well. Okay. I love these little chocolate cakes. The chocolate I found my way to that one. Can I have a uh, fork, Danielle? Good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm not sure if it has enough, but I was like, you know what, Tanisha, just let it sit. Then I never, then I never had time to even check this morning, so I was like, oh, gotta go. <laughs> Time, it just escapes me. No, it's true. Mm -hmm. You saw this lady, she had on fuzzy socks and crocs. I'm like, she got the right idea. But it, you know, it's warmer down there. Yeah, it is. Not a wind dust inside. Yeah, but remember when we was down here, I was like, it's warm now. Yeah. Came up here. <laughs> the wind was So it's been a couple weeks since I've sat down and actually filmed, but I wanted to just show you real quick as I get ready. Um, it's Friday night. I took some time after work to just chill, decompress. I was on the phone with my girl. Um, just chatting it up for a little bit and now I am getting ready to step out um, in the clips that you've seen in the start of the video I had went to a poetry night um, two weeks ago at the artist cafe and unfortunately it is closing so today is the last night and I want to show up and show David who is the owner some love and just like catch the vibes for the night um i'm going to really miss that space and yeah so i'm just gonna do such a simple 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 just beat because you know <laughs> i'm not in the mood to do more than that but i'm saying that now but we'll see how it goes but i have no really expectations to do anything too drastic but right now i'm going in with this um, e.l.f. liquid putty poreless putty primer and I really do like this this is like something new I've started trying um, I know that people are kind of ranting, ranting and raving about um, the hydro primer that's like similar to um, oh my gosh why can't I remember it the milk I used to have that too but I feel like because I'm already like pretty oily like I don't know if the added moisture is exactly what I need so that's what I'm going to be doing right now so I'm just going to go in and do brows real quick I'm actually about to like zoom through these brows BRB okay so I'm back I did brows because sometimes they take a little bit long so I'm just going to color correct a little bit here because one thing about it every time I get um a little like pimple like it turns into a dark spot immediately but then also you know just other dark spots and things I try to color correct just a little bit I'm just going into my face with that Sephora best skin ever I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I am going to be wearing foundation um, tonight because I'm just in the mood. I've been in the I love when I wear foundation because my face looks so just beat. And also because, you know, foundation is just like thicker consistency than like a skin tint. Like I feel like it really um, just manages my oil, I think, a lot better than when I use a skin tint, which I feel like doesn't really help as much. So it does look a little crazy, but it comes together. 
So y'all, this past weekend, I went to um, DC and I had a time, y'all, I had a time. Now I'm just setting all of this. Because I've realized when I do a million sets, when I use foundation, like it's really for my face to kind of stay as long as possible. This one, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just still doing it because this is what I'm wearing. But yeah, I had such a time in DC this past weekend. Like I've always kind of just wanted to move and I never really knew where I would move to. And I feel like I want to move to the DMV area. I don't know if so much DC or Maryland or Virginia, but I'm going to start doing some like research, uh, you know, on like the areas and what's best because I'm just ready for a new life. <laughs> just want to start over. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm definitely like a planner. Like I like to be planful and... I don't do anything just like haphazardly because no way. It wouldn't be I. It just would not be I. Because I always want my best, my next move to be my best move. So that's what I'm really hoping here in this regard. So I'm just like blending this up a bit. I'm gonna get the neck. And what's funny is that I usually have my edges tied down because I don't I always but I didn't want to have that on for this video. Like how y'all be doing these videos with all your hair in the way and I just like to do it and not have my Edges all like ruined with the product. All right, so I'm going in with my Fenty stick. This is Espresso, this match stick. Contour be my favorite thing. Like, I love contour. Because I feel like with foundation, you look so one dimensional, but I love contouring and highlighting because it really makes my face like three dimensional. And I love that for me. I was thinking of whether or not I wanted to do this liquid blush, but I think I'm gonna do it because I wanna show y'all that I'm getting better. I was not sure at one point about like the process, like, do you contour first? I watched some videos and everybody kind of does it differently. So I was a little bit lost on it. But I think I found a little routine. But a little definitely goes long, a long way, especially with Juvia's Place, which I need to go back and re-up and just buy so many shades of that liquid blush to die for. It's so pigmented. Um, I don't contour my nose right away because I have to hide, I mean, I have to conceal it first, but this is the one, I love it so much. This is Pink Lady. I'm literally just, I'm literally just going to put one dot. Boom. Well, that's more than one, but you get the picture. And then I blend this out. Because at first I was not sure. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? But isn't that such a pretty, like, color? <laughs> look at it. Like, look. 
And it starts off like this, like how? You know what's crazy? I was on Instagram the other day and I saw um, a lady kind of have a procedure done where she had all these like beauty marks and like kind of skin tags removed from her face. And I was always a little bit like, I was kind of shook by that because I just thought of my own and I'm like, I love, like if you see here, like I have so many like little beauty marks or skin, like whatever they're called, beauty marks, whatever. I just, I, I can't even imagine getting them removed. Like what? I'm like, wow, there's really a procedure and surgery for everything, but it really is how you look at yourself in the mirror every day and what you see. So maybe to her, she didn't really vibe with it. It's always a little sad, but you know, I'm like, I love mine. I feel like they make my face look really unique. And I'm all for a unique looking face. Cause you know, not to say that I am not insecure about certain things about my face, but at the same time or my skin, whatever. But at the same time, it's the only skin I got, so. This is not wet. Let me go and wet this. Okay, I'm back. I like to use my beauty blender a little bit. Wet, damp. I feel like it helps spread the product a little bit more. I always do my upper eyelid, my, my eyelid because you said it, I will never let me be greedy. They won't. I know it kind of covers the, um, the blush a little bit, but that's okay because I go in anyways with um, a powdered one. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of lighter concealer just in the corner of my eyes. Of course, this tired shape tape. Just a little bit. I like bright under eyes. But this is usually like my routine. Oh, I wish I had my fan. You gotta let it dry a little bit. But yeah, I had so much fun in DC. Like vacation me is literally so much fun. Oh, you hear all that outside? <laughs> vacation me is so fun. Like I literally have the time of my life. Like literally have the time of my life. I like disassociate so much. I'm like, I'm not home. I'm not even doing what I would regularly do at home. Like, so I'm gonna have fun. And I love that for me. Cause I be so carefree. Like I be like, it's about the vibes. Well, not carefree that I'm reckless, but just carefree and like, life is about enjoyment right now. So next month, I'm going to NOLA for my girl's bachelorette and that's gonna be fun. And what I'm looking forward to is that I'm gonna be doing like a pack with me doing all of that because I didn't get to do it for DC because literally nothing happened as it should. Like I never got a package that I was like waiting for and literally until yesterday. I'm like, okay. And it was also the first time that I packed a looking for this, this setting powder. Where are you? This is a um, Laura Mercier. This one's a translucent one. Oh, because I realized I like a little like light in the corner here. And I always want to set it as soon as possible because the, the creases in my eyes, like the makeup be bunching up there. So anyways, as I was saying, like I never really did just a carry on um 
And as I do that, now I'm gonna go in and kind of contour my nose a little bit. Yeah, I know, I, I just don't do it first. I never did, so I had to like catch my bearings with that. And now I feel like I can pack a little bit more intentionally for the NOLA trip. So definitely gonna do, and I'm, I have a lot, uh, I have like at least two outfits. So I feel, I feel good about that. Look at that little contour, look at it. I love my nose. I never want it to be super skinny because I feel like that doesn't even go with my face. So I'm excited for that and I'll take you with me and, and do all that good stuff. I feel like it's mad noisy around my house. My apartment right now. I have this little mini one and then this is the honey color that's a little bit more like tinted and I like this one too it gives a more like natural but I like to do this y'all And then you see on like my hooded eyes, how it's like that. I always go back in before I set it. Cause if I set it as it is, the creases are gonna be there. So I do that, then I go over and pat it in. <sighs> there it is. It's all coming together. And then I'm gonna set my overall face. So I'm excited to go to New Orleans. If any of you are seeing this and you're living in these places I'm talking about, please drop all the info, recommendations, all the things because I'm so excited. Obviously this is a bachelorette, so to be quite honest, like there's really not much time for me to go explore on my own. And I really don't anticipate that I will at all. Like we do have like some time in the schedule to kind of explore ourselves, but I'm not gonna be like motorcycles are out. Um, I'm not gonna be like dipping off doing major sightseeing. I will just plan another trip and kind of just do it myself. Going in with this like contouring. This is like so pigmented. I have to be. <sighs> So beautiful. I'm just setting all these places that I contoured. And I really like a lot of like blush and all that jazz. So that's why I'm very OD with it. And now. Sometimes I gotta be really careful because I just put too much product. So it's the summertime, y'all. It's pretty cool today, actually, like at the temperature. But now in the summertime, like my makeup and my edges, especially, do not hold up. They do not hold up. And I love, 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 love to 
to bronze, like bronze me up. I actually saw somebody kind of do the little pink on the nose. I'm going to do that. It looks very outrageous, but I like that. I like it a lot. Life is about being a little outrageous. Now going in with some powder blush. It's also in like this pink color. I have to re-up on some of these things. And I said super simple. I always say that. I don't know why. But it's fun. I'm aiming to get out of here in like one hour. I already know what I'm going to wear. Which is like pretty laid back. No heels or anything. Like, I think I I'm going to show y'all when I get ready. But I think I'm just going to do some sambas. A skirt and a top and like a jacket. And call it a day. And highlight my favorite part. I'm like, do I want to do lashes? What I actually want to do tomorrow is like some individual lashes. So I might do that, but I don't know if I want to do lashes tonight. I don't think I do. Because I'm like... Let me just do my eyes a little bit more. I'm just going to do a basic, basic... Um, Just a very basic eye. I'm going in with this NYX NYX Ultimate Edit. Um, I mean, should I? No, I already have enough. So I'm just going to do just this in the corners because I like to make it seem like I got a lot of eye lid. I really don't. I like this is my go-to like I just do like almost like a, this clear color here this is my palette like that I my palette that I take with me and then um maybe I'll do a little bit of this here just to add a little razzle dazzle there and then I go in with the brown at the like a smoky eye very simple basic smoky eye who doesn't want the smoky eye? Also, too, like once I let my hair down, like you ain't even gonna be seeing half of this. So yeah, I decided I'm not gonna do lashes because I'm trying to. Or should I? Should I? Should I? I'm gonna do this glittery brown. Should I do? See that? Looks nice. All right, that's that's kind of it. I am gonna do a little bit of um, brown though at the bottom, just to make it seem like I did something here. A little smoky eye effect there. And then I'm just gonna... Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do it, y'all. I think I'm going for, like, pretty simple. I think I'm gonna do a black liner. And just, like, call that a day. I mascara with some lipstick, seeming like the plan. If I can find the eyeliner. All right, I'll be back. We found it. So I learned a trick, y'all. 
because I have hooded eyes, um, I just do like, oh, this line is sick. And not in a good way, like it's all crooked. Like I literally just do, I literally just do half of my eye because it makes it seem a little long. Because when I do more than that, my lash, my eyelid like just eats up. Eats it up. <laughs> so I like to do this and I feel like it elongates my eyes a little bit. You see? It's like not full. If I'm wearing lashes, yes. I do a full line, but just like regular. And I want to have that kind of like allure type eye. This is what I do. I love to see this on people who have a lot of eyelid. It's so cute. Um, let me go. It's, it, it is cute, but it's just a different look. So I, I've done that. Now I'm just going to go in with my Fenty Beauty. Hella thick. And she is hella thick. The trick is not getting it on the top lash or the bottom lash when you're doing these. I'm going to try to do as many runs of this as I can. I could do half lashes, but I don't want to. I don't think I do. Nah. Okay, how do you guys like do your makeup and not like scrunch your face? Like I have these lines here. I'm like... Do I want to go get fillers? Like, they're not fillers, I'm sorry. Do I want to go get Botox? I don't know. I don't think I want to start that. I actually thought about it. I think about it often. Like, it's just a recurring thought. Because I'm like, I can't not do that. Like, how are y'all... How are y'all doing it? Like, I feel like it makes me see better. Like I said, I'm going to go over a million runs just to make them as long as possible. Like I said, I'm going to do some um, lash extensions at home with some gel. Um, with some glue tomorrow, so I'm not even going to worry about lashes tonight. And I'll probably make it short in regards to that. Cute. What am I thinking for a lippy? I think I'm going to do gloss tonight. Bottom lash always gets me. And honestly, like I probably should have set my face. Oh, probably should have sprayed my face. I'm going to actually wait a little bit before I, I spray with the setting spray because every time I do this, I because you're spraying, you close your eyes and you squeeze down, then I mess up underneath my eyelid, underneath my eye. It's so annoying. I actually have to re-up on this. I feel like it does make a difference. It's one size. I'm thinking of this black cherry and then this Juvia's place like look at this color isn't this so pretty I think it will just like blend in so I'm wondering if to do a brown lip liner or this black cherry which is like to die for let me do brown let me decide one thing about me I love lip liner I read a tweet the other day that said um, I'm nothing without my brown lip liner and it's so true also black cherry so black cherry and brown lip liner that's all you're gonna see me in because these other shades just don't show up on my skin the way that I like so like I've tried a pink mm, um, and this is just liner it's like it's not about the gloss like I think I can throw a pink over this it'll be really pretty right even with the brown lip liner I do pinks but like for the liner itself, I can't, I mean, with the brown lip liner, I do a pink gloss. 
But for the liner itself, like I can't do it. Like I love a darker liner because I feel like it makes a difference. And I overline my lips a little bit um, because I like that look. I like to make my top lip look a little fuller. And what's crazy is that that's something I started to do like re re um, kind of recently because even when I look back a couple years, I was not doing that. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely okay with just overlining. Like I don't want no fillers. And I wish that years ago I was on this way because if, if Kylie Jenner would have came out now with some lip liners talking about her lip kits talking about oh she overlines, I would be front row. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. Okay, I think I can spray now. Oh, it's running out. It's running out. So I'm going in with this Juvia's Place again. This color is Mocha Chino. Mm. Mm. This smells like... Mm. You liking it? Let me get. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty gloss. This is like a pinky color. Let me feel like it. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. You know what's crazy? I was not a gloss girl years ago. I always swore by matte and I still love matte, but like when I got into gloss and I was like, yo, this is, this is, this is it. Yo, I've been obsessed ever since. See, this is why I like having my um, head tie on the whole time because why my edges already jump and shit? Like what's going on? So my face is basically done. So I think now I'm just gonna get ready. Ooh. <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm gonna get ready and then, yeah. You'll see the full look. All right, BRB. Okay, so I'm back. Just wanted to show you the fit. So I got this skirt from Amazon. It's like a nice, just, it's not silk, but you know, that silky material. It's nice and soft. Obviously, my Sambas. I have this shirt. It kind of scrunches up at the sides. So it has this kind of look. I like that. I had gotten this from Shein um, a little while ago. And also, I had gotten this jacket from Shein as well, like maybe three years ago um, and I barely wear it because I feel like it's so bright and out there but it's cute when it's cute and I put it on and with me and my style like I'm definitely a little on the simpler side like I dress for comfort whatever like works with my body and what I feel comfortable in but it's super cute I think and I have this little this black purse I think I got this from boohoo a little while ago so that's that so i'm gonna head out and take you guys with me so stay tuned bye so i made it downtown springfield <laughs> and i'm walking to the artist cafe now i brought like, this little light just in case i needed it but i don't know yeah Yeah, 